Wolves are back in Yellowstone. In 1995, park officials imported wolves from the Canadian wilderness. Theoretically, Yellowstone represented ideal wolf turf. The plan called for releasing packs in various parts of the elk-rich northeastern corner of the park. The pack controlling the area around Druid Peak eventually grew to an astonishing 37 members, perhaps the largest ever observed. With so many members, the Druids put their neighbors on notice. They needed more territory, and their howling left no doubt that they had the sheer wolf power to take it by force. Needing more prey, meaning more land, the Druids made inroads into their neighbors' territories, even pushing them out of the park. But when they're hungry, it's back to the business of hunting. This is prime wolf real estate full of elk, a favorite prey. The Druids use the local geography to their advantage. The pack uses the wide open space below Druid Peak to study their prey and get the elk herds moving. With so many members, the Druids can employ a shotgun tactic, fanning out after many parts of the herd. Once they have a faltering elk in their sights, all it takes is a single misstep. The Druids are known to disappoint scavengers, and noisy ravens wait in vain for their turn at the feast. And as Yellowstone transforms, nearly half of the wolves now live outside the park, where they are not always welcome. But livestock losses have been less than half of what the park anticipated, and far less than what ranchers had feared. The wolves' place here seems assured. There are now dozens of wolf packs thriving inside and outside Yellowstone National Park. And the reintroduction program here has become a model for saving endangered carnivores the world over. The wild soul of Yellowstone is back.